हेलो फ्रेंड्स टुडे इन दिस ट्यूटोरियल वी विल बी बिल्डिंग दिस चैटिंग रियल टाइम चैटिंग एप्लीकेशन यूजिंग नोट एक्सप्रेस एंड वेब सॉकेट्स सो फॉर वेब सॉकेट्स वी आर यूजिंग ए लाइब्रेरी कॉल्ड एज सॉकेट डॉट आई ओ दिस इज अ वेरी फेमस लाइब्रेरी फॉर बिल्डिंग रियल टाइम चैटिंग एप्लीकेशन सो दिस इज माई नोट जी एस सर्वर यू कैन सी डेट गाइज इफ आई जस्ट सेंड ए मैसेज हेयर लेट सपोज हाई एंड क्लिक द सेंड बटन यू विल सी डेट गाइज एनोनमस इज provided the default username so anonymous is provided as a default username if you don't provide a username at all so this message is printed out in both the windows you can see that now if i just change the username to john here and click the change username and send a message this is a message from john and click the send button you will see that guys this is a effect that i have talking about so as i am type typing a message so this is a effect that is uh, translating that is sending to all other user that john is typing a message so now if i click the send button you will see that this is message from john so same effect here also if i select any message you will see that anonymous is typing a message if i just send this you will see that so all these messages are being printed on the screen now if i just refresh this these messages will be gone so because we are not storing all these messages in a kind of a database so this is stored in the memory so now if i just refresh this is my server here you can see that now this is a very simple application that we will be building here you will be getting to know about the concepts of socket.io so let's start building the project here so right here at the desktop create a new folder let's suppose i name it as a simple chat you can just name it anything of your choice so first of all open command line here inside your folder and first of all i will in uh, npm init dash y so this will create the package dot json file with the default op options you can see that it has already created that now we install the dependencies first of all we will need express for our server next we need ejs ejs is kind of a template engine for rendering uh, html files inside our node.js applications apart from that we also need socket.io this is a backbone library for our uh, application socket.io next we also need node mod so in order to restart our server whenever we make any end of changes so enter it so it will install these four dependencies so it will take some time guys so i will be back whenever these dependencies are installed so now guys the dependencies have been successfully installed here now we just need to open the this folder in, in inside visual studio code so we have successfully opened it now we will be just be starting the pack uh, just be seeing the package or json file so this will be the listing out all the dependencies that we have installed here so this has created a node modules folder also so first of all guys you just need to change this file from index.js to server.js and also we just need to have a start script so inside script section make a start script and write here node mod server.js that's it so we will just write npm start it will start our project so apart from that we just need to create our server.js and here we just need to import our dependencies first of all we will import express so require express and now we just need to start our express server called const app express and now we just need to app dot listen we will be listening on port 4000 and this has a arrow function so we can just print out on the console that server is listening on port 4000 that's it guys so this is our express server just three lines of code now we just need to run this application so right here we will just write npm start so it will start our server on port 4000 <coughs> so you can see <laughs> see that guys server is listening on port 4000 now if i open this change this to 4000 here you will see that guys cannot get slash because we haven't provided the route here so we can just uh, first of all set the view engine so to view engine to ejs so ejs now we can just have our route here app.get so when we hit the home route this gets request and response we just need to uh, response dot render we just need to have the index dot ejs so we are using the render method so now we just need to create a views folder here so inside views folder we will be having our index.ejs file so let me just write anything in in this hello world let's suppose and now if i just reload my server guys you will see that 
hello world is printed out because we are entering this uh, index.ejs template uh, now guys we will be creating this form here which will be a very simple html form in order to lay out the structure of the application so right here inside your index.ejs file we will be creating a very simple html document let me just give a title to it of uh, real time chat and inside body we will be having a simple uh, input field input type will be text and let me just give a id to it of username and just close this and after that we will be having a button in order to change this username so button type will be submit and let me also give an id to it of a change username and uh, just give a label that is change username and now after that we will be having our uh, window where will all where the chat messages will be displayed let me just give it the id of feedback so inside this we will be populating our messages so now after this we will be having the input field in order to input type text id will be message so here the user will enter its, its message and a simple button in order to submit the message so button side submit let me also give an id to it of uh, change message and uh, the label will be send message that's it so this is our form here html form here now we just need to include some uh, scripts so first we will include jquery here so we just need to search for uh, inside browser so just make a new tab here <coughs> and write here jquery cdn and just go to the site w3schools.com it is a great site to learn web development and here you will see that in get started you will get this url so copy paste this and now after this we also need some custom javascript we will write inside chat.js so just create a new folder inside public folder so in the root just create a folder here public so inside this public we will be creating a new file which will be chat.js that's it so inside this we will be writing our code here so now just go to guys server.js so now in order to tell express that we are using this public folder we just need to set a use a middleware app.use express dot static this is uh, i think yes express dot static and inside this we will pass our uh, public folder that's it so just pass this guys in order to tell that we are using this public folder in express server so now just uh, in order to check if this is working or not <clears throat> i've already included this file here now if i just have a alert box let's suppose hello world and if i just refresh my server here you can see that the server has refreshed so now if i just go back to my server 4000 if i reload this you will see that hello world is printed out so now we are successfully loading our script here so apart from that just give a heading guys right here at the top h1 heading super chat and also we just need to include the cdn for socket.io so right here after title you just need to import socket.io also so just go to google here and uh, type here socket.io cdn so it will give you the cdn here so just go to this website cdn.js So it will give you the CDN. So you will see that guys, there are many CDNs here. So you just need to select this one. Just copy this. And here you just need to write after the title script source and paste the link. So that's it. So this is our index.ejs files here. Guys, our interface is complete. Now we just need to write our socket.io code code in order to make this chatting application uh, now guys we just need to have our socket.io include socket.io here just after you make your server here in the express here 
and right here you just need to store this reference so just make a new variable con server and then is equal to app dot listen so we will be storing our express server inside the server variable now we can just make a new variable input output and we can just require socket.io and we can just pass the server variable that is our express server and now basically we have some events in socket.io which will which is the on method inside this we can just listen for a connection event so basically whenever a new client is connected this uh, this uh, uh, this method will fire and now this contain a socket so basically socket is called as a client and this is the arrow function here we can just console log a new client has been connected and now we just need to uh, on the client side in the javascript we also make a we have to make a request here so let me just delete this alert instead we will be having a document dot ready function of jquery so when all the documents have been loaded we will be making a request to the server so this will be let me just make a variable const io so io dot connect so this is a method let me just recheck it i think that it is uh, yes yes io dot connect so this is a method guys so let me just uh, make a make this variable as a socket so socket io dot connect so this is a method and here we will pass our full url so http colon colon localhost and the port number guys is 4000 and now we just need to uh, recheck our server here so you can see that server is listening on port 4000 now if i just refresh the application for you so this is my application if i refresh it you will see that guys this method fires here a new client has been connected and now if i open a new tab and open uh, localhost uh, again localhost 4000 and again you will see this message popping in you will see that two clients have been connected now in two tabs we have opened this application so this is the real power of socket.io there are various events that you can just listen to one event is just at a connection event so whenever you are connected to the chatting application this message will be fired so this is just be this is just coming because of this function that we have declared input output dot on connection so now we will be having some more events in order to listen for the messages and also for the chats uh, now guys we will be selecting all the elements using jquery inside our index.ejs file here first we have the username field let me just have a username this is uh, i will be selecting it by the id first is username field and second will be the button here so this will be change username and uh, i will be selecting it by the id that i have given that is change username similarly i have the window where we will be displaying all the messages so this is feedback so i have given the id of feedback so next we have is the the change username so i will be storing the username inside this username variable and the id i have given is this username and next we have the change username button so when we click the button we just need to store the reference so this is the id that i have given so now after taking all the variables and storing the references in their respective variables now we just need to guys uh, uh, have our socket we will be having whenever a send uh, message button has been clicked here this is uh, sorry guys this is not uh, this is username change username and this is message guys sorry just change this to message and this is change message change message because in the index.ejs file you can see that i have given this id change message and id of message so now we have successfully retrieved all our uh, variables here inside chat.js now whenever a this button is clicked which is change message we will be binding a method to it dot click so this is a jquery method so whenever this method is clicked we just need to execute a callback function 
and we will be making a socket dot emit method so this is a in order to emit an event to other sockets this is a emit method guys so here we will be having a event name you can just give any event of your choice i will be giving a new message comma and uh, along with the data that you want to send so in this case i will be sending the message so message message colon message dot val so this stands for value so i will be passing the newly created message value to other sockets by the method of socket dot emit so now in order to retrieve this uh, uh, event we just need to go to server or js and right here we need to uh, write this that is first of all we just need to initialize our username so socket dot username so we will be initializing it to anonymous so just write this anonymous user and now after that we just need to write socket dot on and here we will be listening for that event so this will be new message the same name that you need to give here where you have initialized it you can see that new message so here we are listening for this event comma and along with that we will be having some data here so in data this will be arrow function and now we just need to guys uh, emit input output dot sockets dot emit so this is a method that we need to fire here inside this uh, we will be passing new message and along with the data guys so inside curly brackets first will be the message here so message will be equal to data dot message and the username will be guys socket dot username that's it so this is the username that we have initialized here so now guys we are emitting this event from the server side to the client here to all the sockets let me just save this you can see that we are passing two information message and along with the username so the default username will be anonymous so now we just need to uh, receive this event on the client side so i will go to chat.js and i will be listening for the event which is uh, this uh, this event is socket dot on in order to listen for any event we use the on method so inside this i will pass my method or uh, event name which is new message so you just need to name your event very cautiously because we have made this new message here you can see that so you need to be passing the same event so here we will be receiving a data guys so inside this parentheses you will be getting the data so this will be arrow function so we just need to uh, first of all uh, remove all the data which is previously been there so we will be using this feedback so feedback dot html and we will be initializing it to null and also we will be this message field input field we will also be setting the value to null and now after setting these two values to null we will be appending a message feedback.html so inside this we will be having a simple paragraph tag inside this we will be having first of all our message we will be concatenating so put a plus sign and uh, which will be data.username first of all data.username and i will be putting a colon so inside this put a colon and again we concatenate our message actual message so data dot message that's it and now we just need to close our paragraph tag so close the paragraph tag that's it guys so this is our if i just refresh the application now no error is there here so now if i go back to the application hopefully if i send a message it will be seeing on the screen hi send message you will see that guys anonymous hi so it has taken the default username which is passed in the server side i have initialized it in the server.js socket.username anonymous i can even change this to john here and now if i refresh it the default username will be john if i pass any kind of message here you will see that john so i will be resetting it to anonymous now we have to get a functionality in order to set the username of our choice so now we for that also we will be having some kind of events in sockets so now we will be changing the username guys so for that just uh, pass a, a event here so first of all we just need to fire this event whenever we uh, click this change username button so we will be binding a click event listener so we will be change username dot click 
So whenever the user click this button, we will be executing this callback function. So first of all, we will be emitting an event socket dot event emit and we will be naming this as change username and similarly we will be passing the data here and inside this data we will be having our username so username is equal to uh, username dot val so basically we are using this username input field that we have stored this reference and we are grabbing the value which the user has typed by the method val that's it now we just need to uh, receive this event on the server side so just go to server.js and right here we will be having our event which will be inside this so we just need to listen for the event which is uh, socket dot on and the event name was change username and we will be getting the data and now we just need to set the socket dot username that we have initialized it to anonymous to the data data dot username that's it guys so we have now successfully set it our username also now if i just refresh it refresh the application and now if i pass a default message it will be having anonymous username now if i want to change the username to john if i click the change username and now if i send hi message you will see that guys it will be having john here john message and one problem is there guys we have you can see that we are not appending all the messages so for fixing this problem you just need to change this html to append so we will be appending the messages now just make this change and now if i just refresh the application you will see that if i pass the hi it will take the anonymous username if i pass successive messages let's suppose change the username to john click the change username and again pass the message to hi uh, one problem is there guys you just need to uncomment this line that is feedback.html to a null value so just uncomment this line here now your functionality will work, will work here now if i just refresh it and send the default message to hi it will take the anonymous and now if i want to change the username to john change username and then i will pass hi message you will see that it will take the username as john you can just also have multiple windows to it and send message you will see that if i just refresh it or also refresh this if i pass a hi message hi you will see that now if i just wanted to john change username and uh, hi send you will see that click the change username so you will see that so now our username is also working guys we can also change username now i just want to have add effect that whenever we are typing a message we just need to show the other users that we are typing a message that is some kind of uh, hint for that we just need to implement some a event here and now guys i will be just be binding a key press so message dot bind on the input field of message so here i will be just be writing key press and this is a callback function so inside this i will be just be passing socket dot emit and here the event name which is typing and now we just need to receive this event on the server side so just go to server.js and here we will just write socket dot on and the event name was typing and we will get some data so this will be a arrow function so here we just need to write socket dot broadcast dot emit so we will be broadcast broadcasting this event to all the clients which is connected so that event name is typing that's it now i will save this so the server side code is complete now we just need to listen to this event on the client side which will be socket dot on the event name was typing and the data which is coming here is uh, the actual data that we need to on the server side i need to pass a data here after this we just need to pass a data which is username so this will be equal to socket dot username that's it and now in on the client side we just need to cache this data so i will be manipulating feedback dot html so here i will be writing a paragraph tag so inside this paragraph i will be having the italics tag so inside this i will be grabbing data dot username is typing a message 
dot 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 and then I will be just be closing the paragraph italic tag and the paragraph tag that's it so this application is complete now now if I just refresh the application and go back to the and change this to 4000 and let me just open new uh, two new windows here let me open a new tab of Google Chrome localhost 4000 so now if I just enter hi here let me enter some message here hi you will see that it has been broadcasted to all the here messages here you can even see that guys if I just send out a message here if I writing a message here if I send a message you will see that it is printing out and now if I type any kind of message here you will see that anonymous is typing a message so if I just wanted to change the username to John click the change username and now if I write a message you will see that John is typing a message and similarly here also if I change this username to this so this is a chatting application guys so thanks very much for watching this video